certain to entertain and enthrall. But the big question is, who has the qualities necessary to succeed? There is so much on the line. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from the Bernabeu here on EA TV. It truly is a special place, a stadium every football fan should visit should he or she get the chance. The Santiago Bernabeu here in Madrid. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And every reason to believe we're in for an entertaining match here. It's Real Madrid taking on Chelsea. Well, as always, I'm looking forward to this because both teams have strong aspects to their game. Both managers like to play attacking football and we've got some good matchups all over the pitch. Van Verde, opportunity here and a fine stop to turn the ball away. And let's dissect the Real Madrid side. Thibaut Courtois begins in goal. Antonio Rudiger plays alongside Eder Militao in central defence. Federico Valverde plays alongside Jude Bellingham in the centre of midfield. And lining up through the middle in attack today is Kylian Mbappe. Keeping the ball moving. Fernandez. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. This is how the visitors will set up today. Well, they're going to play with two wingers in this 4-3-3 formation. So they need to switch the ball quickly and get crosses into the box. But they also need to get at least two midfield players making runs into the penalty area. That's a must. Vinicius Junior. Well, if you're looking for a player to take any game by the scruff of the neck, Look no further than Vinicius Junior, top quality. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, no matter what defensive structures you put up, this man can destroy it with his blistering pace, both with and without the ball. He's so exhilarating to watch. Lavia. Jackson on the ball. Bellingham and Valverde so plenty of forward momentum from Real Madrid here but quick thinking defensively Neto Cucurella might be able to get in behind the defence Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. Really good timing stop to make sure the threat came to nothing. And a corner coming up for Chelsea. Can they make good use of it? Played over. Not the most confident clearance. Well, they can keep possession now. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. Rather than a free kick, it's advantage Chelsea. Palmer. And in the right position to read it. Rodrigo. And Bellingham. On to Mbappe. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Fernandez. Enzo Fernandez. Lavia. Caicedo. The ball back with Real now. Carvajal. What can Real do from this position? Here's Carvajal. Incisive pass. There's still danger here. Well, no damage done. Malo Gusto.
could be troublesome. His determination there for all to see. Vinicius Junior. And now Rodrigo. And options in the centre. Now the attack fizzled out. Well, nothing comes of it. Referee indicates goal kick. Well, we don't often say this, do we? But Kylian Mbappe hasn't had too much to say for himself, Stuart. Well, he's had no real impact on the game so far. Yes, he's been tightly marked, but he has to work hard to make things happen. He's been really disappointing. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Well, assessing what Vinicius Junior produced in the first half, we expect dazzling football from him. We didn't quite get that, but still plenty of time for him. Well, I've been disappointed with him in that first half. He just didn't have an impact on the game. Yes, the service into him wasn't great, but his movement needs to be a lot better. Let's hope he... Second half excitement to come, we hope, here at the Bernabeu. Rudiger. Mbappe. Nicely timed tackle. Palmer with it. Malo Gusto. Well, no stopping him. And a decent delivery. Well, clattered away. Really good build-up, but no end product. Rodrigo. Here's Carvajal. A good vision there. Well, a bit wasteful from the Merengues. Kukureya. Caicedo. And Chelsea looking dangerous. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. Well, they're up against it now and doesn't Ancelotti know it too? And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Carvajal. Rodrigo. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Enzo Fernandez. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass happy. And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Carvajal. Here's Carvajal. Now with Bellingham. Rodrigo. And he takes it away. Carvajal. And Bellingham. And defensive play to be applauded. And he's through here. And the keeper's in trouble. Oh, that is a moment of pure quality. A goal for football lovers to enjoy the world over. 
Well, here's the replay, and he's got to clear his lines there. He doesn't do that. He has his pocket picked, and he's been rightly punished. Poor defending. Well, they've had to dig in, but just look what that means to Ancelotti. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Caicedo. Neto. Eder Militao. And Valverde. Vinicius Junior. He's protecting it effectively. Kylian Mbappe. Valverde. Real find themselves in a position of menace. Can he put them in front? Looking it. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, I thought that was the game. Fantastic work by the keeper just to keep them in this. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. Neto. Well, it was a menacing attack, but tidied up. Well, again, it breaks down for them. Only five minutes left for play, and tension galore with the teams locked together. Federico Valverde. Still level. Real Madrid continue to look for what could be a winner. Oh, good defending to stop a decent-looking attack. No let-up on the pressing front. Malo Gusto. And considerable space afforded Real Madrid. Valverde. Now just the tackle that was needed. And the whistle is sounded, and these two teams are locked together. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. He had to score, and he does. Can he convert? And he's beaten the keeper. And there it is, perfectly executed. In it goes. from the spot and it's gone in so lethal in front of goal and he steps up to take his penalty well the keeper reacted magnificently well a successful kick here and that will be that Engulfed by all the pressure, he nevertheless puts it away to win this penalty shootout. Well, it's a good penalty. He showed a lot of composure there. And overall, they probably just about deserve to win this game.